Do we have to lose our health just because we're getting up in age? A woman asked me that yesterday, and who doesn't want to know the answer to that question? Raise your hand, right? Especially the women I work with during and after menopause. And this was asked by someone who's been through cancer treatment, right? One of the things that can really age the body. Is it something we can ever fully recover from? And when was the last time that spark of a feeling was there? That I can do anything feeling bubbling up inside instead of, you know, the one that says, "Eh, it's too late for that now. Well, it turns out that tonic herbalists have been working on this for thousands of years. And recently they've been joined by a wave of modern researchers. And yep, sure enough, there seem to be ways we can help to slow down aging. And if there's one thing tonic herbs and superfoods are known for, it's that. In fact, the entire tonic herbal system is built around this goal of helping to slow down aging. So I took tonic herbalism and I wove it into every herbal combination I create for my clients from menopause on. Now what's happening behind the scenes gets a little complicated, but here are the highlights. It turns out that toxic cells tend to age more quickly than clean cells. So keeping detox pathways open and tuned really helps move the needle. Stressed cells will often degrade earlier than cells that are protected. So managing all different kinds of stress is key. Well-nourished cells will usually live longer than malnourished cells. So breakdown and absorption of nutrients is crucial. Certain biomolecules promote slower aging and others promote premature aging. So getting the right ones in and avoiding the other ones can make a world of difference. Epigenetic changes, changes in our DNA, often due to the environment, can play a huge part in fast or slow aging, depending on which we allow to turn on. And there are certain things we can do to have some control over this. In fact, when one grows older, the body functions less well, and as a result, can develop inflammation. This inflammation, often called inflammaging, is when the body's not really sick, it just looks and feels older. And inflammaging can potentially play a part in all kinds of unpleasant things, like older looking skin, cardiovascular disease, cancer, chronic kidney disease, dementia, depression, just to name a few. Then there are the everyday effects of inflammation, like losing the ability to do daily activities, sarcopenia, frailty, and perhaps even premature death. But the good news is that it can be possible to help reduce a lot of those signs of aging just by supporting healthier inflammation levels in the body as the body ages. And there are plant foods so powerful at helping to reduce inflammation, they've been shown to act on nuclear factor kappa V, which is one of the most powerful inflammatory chemicals that can cause havoc in the human body. And it's also possible to help cut off the sources of inflammation by caring for the gut, the immune system, and by managing stress. Now, it's a lot to keep in your head, but the bottom line is it's not at all uncommon for the women I work with to say, well, I feel like I felt X number of years ago, 5, 10, right? Or I decided to start dating again, or I'm exercising and doing things I haven't done in years. And the list goes on. To learn more about working with me and the work I do, just watch the free masterclass below and use the link at the end of the class to set up a one-on-one call. We'll find out if we're the right fit. I'm Dana Lavoie, an acupuncturist and herbalist specializing in women's health and menopause and healthy aging for the last 20 years. I've helped hundreds and hundreds of women through menopause and into healthy aging in my private practice and online programs. And some of my all time favorite tips that I want every woman to know about menopause and aging are in the free masterclass below.